Hi, in this video I will show you how to create this photo effect using GIMP. I'm going to close this, go to File, Close View, then I'll go to File, Open. I'm going to open this image with this woman, then go to File again, open as layers and choose the map image. I'm going to include links in the description for both images if you want to get them and uh, try this with me. First thing I want to do is scale down the image with the woman just a little bit. So I'm going to select this layer, go to the scale tool, click on the image and then make sure this is locked so you can keep the aspect ratio and click and drag like this, click scale. Once this is done, I'm going to the image menu and choose fit canvas to layers. Then I'll select this layer with the map, grab the rotate tool, click, type 90 for the angle, click enter to apply and then click rotate. Then I'll go to the mode here of this layer and choose soft light. Then I'll grab the move tool and I'm going to position this. And I'm going to move it down. over here. Next I'll go to the layer over here, right click and make sure I have an alpha channel. If this option is not available, so the image has an alpha channel. And I'm going to select the add layer mask option and just click add, use the defaults. Now before I start painting with the brush tool and hide some of the parts of the map here, I want to use one of the filters to make the map look like it's following the curves of the face and one thing that stands out is this line in the middle of the image it doesn't look like it's following the curves of the face at all the rest looks pretty good once we clean up the image uh, it's going to look even better but this line I need to change it a little bit I'm going to the filters menu choose distorts I warp and of course I'm doing this making sure this layer is selected, the layer not the layer mask because otherwise you're going to uh, get a blank image here. Let's try this real quick, cancel, click on the layer mask, filters, reshore, I warp and you see you have nothing here so make sure you select the image not the layer mask, then go to filters, reshore, I warp. I'm going to move this over here. And unfortunately we cannot see here in the preview the woman as well. So I'm going to have to do this by eye. I'm going to choose the move option. And I want to move this part of the line which is over here. And I'm going to try to hit this. I'm guessing it's over here. So I'm going to click and drag and move it a little bit like this. Let's click OK and see the effect. And yes this looks better now. Let's go to the filters again, we show I warp. Next I want to move it over here so I'm going to click and drag like this and maybe let's click a little bit more over here. Click OK. I'm going to go to the filters menu again, we show I warp and over here I want to move this part so I think it's over here so I'm going to move it this way okay I'm going to zoom in a little bit holding down the control key turning the mouse wheel and maybe we can retouch it here a little bit also so go to filters, reshow and try to find this so it's below this part so it has to be around here so let's click and drag just a little bit click OK and I think this looks pretty good I'm going to start the filter again and, uh, and with this filter you can uh, play around a lot depending on the image you may need to 
shrink at some parts, maybe grow using these options. So if you want to spend more time on your image, you can use this filter, all of the options here, the move, grow, swirl, remove, shrink. Uh, you can use the different deform radius and the form amount to make uh, the map uh, look like it's following the curves of the face. I think uh, this looks pretty good. So I'm not going to be messing around with it anymore. Next thing I want to do is uh, grab the brush tool, adjust the size of the brush and click on the layer mask and start hiding these parts of the map over here a little bit I'll go to layer layer to image size and this will remove this layer boundary so I can see what I'm doing over here I'm just going to click and use the edges of the brush I'm painting with low opacity because this is a fuzzy brush as you can see when I'm painting with the edges I'm applying only part of the effect in this case I'm hiding the image And if I think that I went too far, I can click here to swap the foreground and background color and paint over here like this. Next, I'm going to reduce the size of the brush. Zoom in. And I want to paint over the eyes but with the black color to hide the map do the other eye then I'm going to do the lips as well Zoom out, zoom in again and also paint a little bit over here, reduce the size of the brush with the bracket keys and paint over here. Zoom out. And we can also experiment with layer modes and we can click here, duplicate this image and uh, change the mode of the top layer to something else for example to hue and you see how this looks also we can change it to divide for example and you see we have this glowing effect looks pretty cool so I hope this was useful and if it was like the video if you're new to my tutorials visit my channel subscribe Visit my Inkscape channel for Inkscape tutorials. That's it for this one. Bye for now.